तो इन दैट पीसी आईपी वर्जन सिक्स कॉन्फ़िग ऑटो कॉन्फ़िग आईपी वर्जन सिक्स कॉन्फ़िग इट ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट दी आईपी वर्जन सिक्स एड्रेस IP version 6 config auto sorry auto config IP version 6 config oh so you have to enable that interface IP version 6 enable exit okay now we can give Yeah, it automatically generate the IP version six address. So IP version six config auto config IP version six config. Yeah, it automatically generate the IP version six address and default gateway. Okay, so. Now we can configure the EGRP routing protocol on each and every network, and in that local area network, fast ethernet zero slash zero interface can be enabled as an IPv6. Then only we can automatically generate the IPv6 address on that PC. So zero slash zero. Here we can go to that particular interface and give IPv6 enable. Then in a PC, in command prompt, we can give IPv6 config space auto config. So using that command, it automatically generate the IPv6 address. Then IP IPv6 config means it will display the IPv6 address of that PC and default gateway. So that IPv6 address uh, is can be generated depends upon the MAC address of that PC. So first 64 bit is a net ID of that local area network. Then last 64 bit is the MAC address of that PC is 48 bit. Then 16 bit can be inserted into that MAC address. F F F E. Default gateway is link local address of that fast Ethernet zero slash zero. So the default gateway is common for all that PC in that network. Okay. Now we can check whether the CEC department can ping to AAA department or not. So that PC six IP version six address is. So just copy that interface. Copy. Okay. We can go to that PC. Here we can give ping space. Paste. Sorry. So we cannot give slash sixty four. I will give the subnet mask also. So it cannot pinging. So we can cancel that. Ping two hundred one colon one 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 colon one 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 colon four colon two d zero colon sorry. Colon nine seven f f colon f e c nine colon e two a nine. Yeah, we can get reply from that PC. So before that, I will give that subnet mask also. That's why only it cannot be pinging. So just we can give that IP version six address. It can be pinging. Okay. Now IT department can ping to EC department. So the PC four IP version six addresses we can copy this address. So we can go to that PC. Then we can give paste it. Yeah, we can get reply from that. So in this video tutorial, we can see how to configure EAGRP routing protocol. Using IP version six address. So in this scenario, we have four local area network: CEC department, IT department, EC department, and AAA department. So the IP version six address we can take an as 2001 colon 41 colon 41 colon x double colon slash 64. X indicates the subnet ID. So the CEC department net ID is one, IT department net ID is two, and EC department net ID is three, and AAA department net ID is four. In wide area network, the net ID is five, six, seven, and eight. So we can configure each. We can configure the IP version six address into each and every network. Then we can configure the EAGRP routing protocol. So when you are using IP version six address to configure EAGRP routing protocol, means we can remind two things. 
one is we can give the router id and we can give the node shutdown so router id is an ip version 4 address it is an 32 bit address the multicast address for eagrp in ip version 4 is 224.0.0.10 in ip version 6 the multicast address for eagrp routing protocol is ff02 colon colon a a indicates the hexadecimal value so the corresponding value is 10 so each and every network can communicating to the all other network so vice versa it can be pinging so thank you for watching this video